Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. I have decided to bring my Epson Stylus Photo 1400 back into operation. It's been a while since I've used it and it's amazing this thing just does not clog. I'm telling you it's been months and months and months since I used this printer. And I know I always preach to use the printers, use the printers, but this particular one I just haven't had a chance to use because I've been busy doing videos on other printers and such. But, you know, it's never too late to bring some tender loving care back to a beloved printer such as the Stylus Photo 1400. This thing is a workhorse. I am basically running some cheap Chinese carts on it and it has not clogged at all. I am printing an image that I promised you all I would show you. It's my grandson and my wife walking into a section of their woods behind their house. They have about six acres of land and this is in the city, believe it or not. It's an area that has not been developed because they just kept a hole on that piece of land. So, as you will see, it is quite a beautiful shot. I got very lucky and I caught it just at the right moment. The weather was cloudy and yucky and all of a sudden a bit of sunlight came filtering to the trees. And I'm just using the OEM profile for premium glossy paper. And this is with Chinese inks. 1400 just kicking butt. Amazing. It needs a good cleaning. It's been sitting down here kind of being ignored. I'm sorry baby. I have some refillable cards that I'm going to go ahead and load them with the inks that I normally get from Precision Colors. Everybody raised about the Canon Pro 9000, but the Epson 1400 actually is outstanding. It, it has the capability of as small as a 1.5 picoliter droplet, which is quite amazing. Okay, I think you should be able to get a good idea as to the quality of this print. And even some dye based inks can cause bronzing but there is no such thing on this print see every little leaf every little bit of detail in all of these trees good shadow detail here these areas are completely blown out but that's just the bright sky I was trying to expose for the woods and again I'm going to redo this and I'm going to darken this area here because I want to bring attention to this spot right in this area here all right so as you can see the 1400 is an excellent printer if you can find an Epson 1400 or a 1430 I believe they call it an artisan printer artisan 1430 they're excellent they're great die printers they produce vibrant colors the small droplet size is capable of producing beautiful gradations I'm not so sure about black and white but if you profile the printer it will probably produce some pretty good black and white now the 1400 is a great candidate for an old black system as well so if you go to Cone Color or Inkjet Mall and get the set of black inks for the 1400, then you're going to need quad tone rip to be able to print out of it. But it does a wonderful job. The best black and whites you will ever get. Okay, so if you like it, please like, subscribe, and share. Until the next time, happy printing. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Nathan. Bye-bye.